Hey, hey, here with Easy Jeezy. Decided to uh, start on the pedal assembly here. The snow's gone. It's a pretty nice day, actually. Pedal assembly. The, uh, I'll show you what happened. This is how a Volkswagen pedal assembly looks, basically, with a few changes over the years. But the left pedal is connected to this hook. As you see as I'm moving this side, this is operating the hook. And the clutch is operated by a cable. And what's, this, what's happened is it's, it's worn down over the years and this is broken off. And having that heavy duty pressure plate on there just put it under more stress and finished it off. It's really a lucky break. It couldn't have happened in a better place unless it was in my garage. But that's not going to happen. And the break, what it does is you have a little rod that hooks on this and it pushes in and out of the master so cylinder. So this one has already been taken apart. Now this is the other thing that happens with this style of pedal. This will break. This was in my uh, uh, fiberglass car one day and I pushed in the clutch. was running the same engine and pressure plate and uh, it just wiped it out right here. It, it went right to the floor, broke the pedal assembly. So again it's meant for a certain amount of stress and no more but these are forged steel they're solid I've never seen those break what we used to do is cut the pedals off shorten the arm and lower the pedals that gave you a little shorter quicker throw just like the just like the short shifter 17 millimeter this is all stock it's all glued down. Then you got your tar board there. Where's my grandkids when I need them? Well, guess what? It's not the hook. The hook looks fantastic. But this whole messy, nasty thing needs to get cleaned up. Evidently, something happened in the bell housing with the uh, throw-out bearing fork. They sell a heavy-duty one for racers and uh, a welded heavy-duty shift fork. Uh, the arm is folded back. There's no way I can get underneath there to film it at the moment. So the engine's got to come off. I need to get the car turned around or pulled forward into the garage and I've got the trailer over here and the buggy and all that crap in front of it and I got three engines and pieces let's see <laughs> retirement is so boring <laughs> ah. I think I'll go take a nap. <laughs> this sucks. Anyhow, I hope, you, hope your day's going well. It's pretty nice here today. A little bit of a wind in the air, but it's up to uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I better quit talking and get after it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy, jeezy. Yes, Ouch. I've been busy. Oh my gosh. Can't believe it. What a bear getting this thing in there. The darn wind is kicked up. I don't think I kept this garage door open. All this dirt blowing around. But thankfully, it wasn't a broken uh, shift fork as is usually the case. This is exact. I haven't touched a thing. I went right in as soon as I pulled the engine forward. And this is the way I saw it. Now, this is a stock type retainer. And this was a, I got this transmission in a trade from somebody, and I didn't have an extra throw-out bearing uh, for this early style. This doesn't have the sleeve. This is exactly the reason why you want the later uh, style, because it has a sleeve over this, and this won't probably ever happen. Something else might happen, but I don't know. But this is what I saw when I took it off. And here's something that I, this was used, but I see some kind of a, I see some kind of 
white stuff on here, and I don't understand what that is. So basically, that's why the for that's why the arm stayed forward because it got it got tangled up in here. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I can't I can't do it with with one hand. Let's see. Can you guys see that? All right. <laughs> Push that forward. Mm. Man, that must have been. That's why I heard that big kawam. That took some. That does not go back there. I'm gonna have to make sure this isn't all bent. I've got another throw up bearing. Oh, I need a. Can you see that? It feels smooth. And the, uh, nothing's broke. And it is dry. Well, in the spirit of full disclosure, I screwed up. This is the same throw bearing. Does it look any different to you? If you back it up, probably you don't even need to. There was a white coating on that, right? Evidently, now, when I, the guy I got this from, I called up a buddy of mine and I says, hey, you got any old German early style throwout bearings? And he says, yeah, I may have one around. And he gave it to me. Now he's gonna be pissed, because it must have been brand new. I did not even notice. It had this white uh, tape. I just cut it off with a razor blade and then took it over the wire wheel. This feels good. I'm going to put it back in. I think what happened, uh, let's look at another one that's brand new. When I, when I ordered all these parts, I went ahead and ordered a new early style. And this is what you get now compared to the old one. That's a socks, and it's encased. It's just covered a little bit different. Now see this one, this one is just bare metal. And I didn't even look at that other one. The other one had the old German one. Here you go. The old German one. That must have been brand new. And there was some sort of a, a white tape on there. It's gotten hot and it was baked on. It was kind of a booger to get off. But that, man, it even feels, I could feel the difference in weight. This thing's solid steel. And this new one has got that sheet metal around it. So I'm going to put this old one back in. I'm going to keep that with me when I go on my trip. But uh, it cleaned up real nice and all that was on there for to protect it. So it, and I've been driving it for months this way. I, I'll have to actually even look on a video because uh, I put this transmission in last Gosh, last fall or last summer? Yeah, last fall. So anyhow, I did find something else I wanted to share with you. These are the stock clips that hold it in. And these are what they sell as a racer style for that. A lot of guys will just don't even want this kind of a transmission. And if I had, if I had this thing apart, I'd be tempted to sleeve it. Because that's really... I think basically what you need, the metal's there, well see, two out of the three, I'd want to look on the inside, you wouldn't want to drill it all the way through, but you could drill it and tap it, and put a sleeve on it, and I'm not so sh not sure if this fork would fit, but that would prevent that from happening, but this thing seized up on that tape, I'm sure that's what happened, it was a real cold morning, pushed in the clutch, and it grabbed hold of it, and swang, so... oversight on easy jeezy's part and like I said with full disclosure my channel is about learning and when I screw up I'm going to share it so that somebody else will learn from it hopefully and be uh, extra careful with that so we'll put her back together this feels real good I mean the just velvety rolls smooth so does this one so does this one but I think I'll just keep this as my spare and put the old one back in. And I'll, tr I'll try to get these uh, racer clips. These turned up after I've done that. And 
I'm slowly going through my stuff, getting organized as I find stuff and putting things away. Anyhow, this video's gotten way too long, I'm sure. I gotta check some other things over, too. I need to check the brakes on this thing while I got it in the garage. Alright, sorry. Talk to you later. Alright, this really cracked me up. I don't know if this is uh, going to work out or not, but I decided to try to narrate alongside of this. When it comes time to put these throw-out bearings on, it's probably the very reason that people don't like these spring clips. Uh, it is really a hassle, hassle. I'm telling you, the left side of that throw-out bearing fit nice and snug and tight with the racer-type spring, hairpin spring retainer. The right side, I kept having troubles with it. I tried over and over. One of the springs felt like cheese. I tried putting the old stock one in. Everything I tried, it just seemed to stay loose, and I wanted it snug. The left side came out nice and snug, and I was not going to stop until I got the other one just as nice, because I this was very inconvenient, and I'm lucky that this happened in my driveway. If you were out on the trail or down some gnarly thing or on a trip this this would not be fun to have to deal with on the side of the road or out in the woods so I'm uh, really working hard to get this thing together and I was trying to do this video to demonstrate the struggle I think it's important to share the struggle you don't always put the victory up there uh, this is just a few minutes I have it four times faster than they actually see. Now I finally just said the heck with the right side. The left side was good. I undid it even though it was just the way I wanted it. And now I'm slipping it in the right side because the left side seemed to go right in and was easy. So I thought, well, okay, just try something new. When you're struggling, don't give up. Just take a break, walk away from it if you have to. At one point, the clip shot clear out in the driveway. <laughs> Lucky I found it. But I just kept working at it, and I finally got it. And I'm happy with the way it turned out. And I can't change the audio, and I don't think I can switch back to it. It does the whole section. See, this is where I think it went out in the driveway, and I had to go fetch it. And, uh, yeah, just a royal pain. But anyhow... This video is kind of long, and I uh, appreciate everybody hanging in there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy, jeezy out. Now go out there and fight your battle and create a great day. Now i just got to put the engine back on, and I'm done.